Hello, today we're gonna build a house in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that I'm only allowed to use base game and I really don't know how I feel about that. So let's start shall we, we freaking shall. All right, so here I am on me lot and I think the first thing we gotta do is to choose base game only. Boop. Oh, yikes. Oh, I see. It's been a really long time since I've played with base game only and what the? You know, what I can see from the couches, Sims has three very distinct styles. Like we have the outdated hypermodern stuff, we have the Victorian-esque shenanigans, and last but not least, we have the texture I hardly know her. This couch is my worst enemy, you know? And we also got whatever style this is, but um, these are the three distinct styles that Sims is going for in the base game. It's kind of weird, like was this style popular in 2014? Maybe it was, I don't remember. Okay, so before we start with this house, I gotta plan out what kind of style I'm going for, and I, I think it has to be some sort of Victorian shenanigans. Cause it's not, it's not gonna be this. I'm sorry, it's not. I can't do that to myself. So yeah, I think that's what we're going for today. Some type of Victorian shenanigan, all right. So Victorian, Victorian, Victorian. Where do one start with that? We can start with an octagon. Or maybe I should do a round room since we have round rooms. I mean, they're so laggy, but maybe, maybe I can try. If I can make a circle though, that's another challenge that I have. Okay, we have a circle. That's a nice circle. If I do say so myself, what if I, oh, you can't do that. What? What can I do then? Well, that's gonna look strange. I want to connect me walls. You know what? No, not doing it. I'm not doing circle room. They are so cursed. I cannot. It's gonna be an octagon. Let's make some fancy walls. Whoa, that was a fancy wall. It kind of looks like a little bird, like a flying bird like this. I, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's a shape that, that it is indeed. Interesting. I'm gonna copy this. Just plop it on top. Then this can be a little tower. Oh, yeah, it has some shape to it. All right, all right. Do I like this? shape or is it weird maybe i like it maybe i do all right so before i do anything else i'm gonna do the layout of the house controversial i don't know what if i just have the stairs like so and then this can be a hallway something where do i want the kitchen what if i part the room like this then this can be the kitchen maybe and then this can be some sort of dining room maybe and then we have this part left so this can be the living room do i want that to be a part of the living room i mean that can be a bathroom yeah if it's a bathroom right so upstairs what are we gonna have upstairs oh Ooh, this can be like a funky room with those walls. Yeah. And then that can be some sort of bedroom. You can have another room right here, maybe. And then what am I gonna do here? Interesting. This is the layout of the house. Here is the entryway hallway thingy thingy. Then we have the kitchen, dining room, bathroom, living room. Then upstairs, we have another hallway, bedroom, a little balcony. And then we have a kid's bedroom, a bathroom, and some sort of office, I believe. Alrighty, tidy chow. Let's do the exterior. And I am kind of nervous because what? just base game have to give in the wallpaper section oh so what kind of wallpaper do i want to go for i uh, i think something you wouldn't like something you wouldn't like i mean just just wood just just wood but what kind of wood oh the pink one. I mean, that's actually very cute. Am I gonna go for pink? Am I? Or is that going too far? I'll, 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 hmm. I don't know. But maybe there is something there. Maybe. Let's do the roofing. Oh, oh that's a tiny roof. Well, this is looking very interesting. Don't know if I like it. Uh oh. I am not really sure what I'm doing this moment in time. Well, I mean, it's starting to get there. This is kind of weird, though. What is happening here? Well, then I think I gotta change up my layout a little bit. Go out. Yeah, that's better. Problem fixed. All righty, time. Let's go for a black roof. And what kind of roof trims do we want? Uh, the big questions of life. White, maybe? Or shall I go for pink? Or is that too much? I think maybe that's too much. I'm gonna go for white. Let's just look at the windows instead, okay? Let's forget about that. Let's look at the windows. What windows do we want? All right, so I'm thinking maybe this vibe. Maybe some of this. Or this. Yeah, I think that can work. Oh, but then we have this tower. Do we have any... Do we have any skinny windows? Some skinny legends up in here? We have this. Yeah, we do indeed have. I mean, that can work. Right, let's put up them windows. Do I want white windows or, or, or pink? No, that's a little bit too much. Or blue? Ah, let's go with white for now. Not gonna complicate things. I am not really happy with the windows. I am truly not. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, I don't know, it looks weird. It does. Is that better or worse? I want to know. What if I have one of these? No, I don't like that. But we 
can have these cute little windows that I indeed can do. Right, so in here is going to be the kitchen. So I think we should have some smooth windows instead. I'm just going to place in some random counters so I know the height. Right. Oh, that rhymed. Okay, so we have these windows. Not sure if I like those or not. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't look at the windows. What about these? No, that's weird. That's definitely weird. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, well, yeah. That was all I had to say about that. Let's change the front door instead. That seems like fun. Very fun. I don't really like any of the doors. What do I... <laughs> I can try that door. That's the least offensive door we have. Now, what can I do to save this house? Interesting question. I can build a little porch. That I can do. Just gonna give them a big porch. What am I gonna do here? No. Maybe, but just maybe, I can try with one of these rounded decks. Maybe. Well, that's gonna be a big porch. But anyways, it's gonna be like that. Wow. Have you ever seen such beauty? I don't think so. It's looking awful right now. Hold on. Okay, you know what? Very off topic here. But this house is annoying the freaky frack out of me. I have to move it. Bebe. And there we go. Look how peaceful and calm it is now without that house. Beautiful. But ooh, there is one thing that I really, really want to try. And that is to put this house on a hill. That is what I want to try. Maybe I should have made the hill before I made the house. Because if we do the terraining now, it's just, you know, I don't know. So what, uh, what am I going to do? I make things so hard for myself. I, I know that I do. What if I raise this piece up? Boom. And then I raise the terrain around it. How does that look? That can indeed work. All right. Try to get me terrain tool. Control. Oh, this is so annoying. All of the keyboard shortcuts that they have in The Sims don't work for me because I have a Norwegian keyboard. So it's actually supposed to be control and that bracket thing. But for me, I have to press my oh, There you go. And I have to find this out myself. I pressed every single key to find that out. And that was not a good day. Well, it was a good day when I found it out, but uh, it was a lot of confusion. And I know you can press the arrows, but they are so unpredictable. They're more unpredictable than me. And that's saying something. Maybe I'm not that unpredictable. Mostly do the same every day. Let's not talk about that right now. And terraining. Maybe I should push this a little bit back. Or is that weirder? But if I push it a little bit back and to the side. Cha cha slide. Maybe somewhere around there. But you always gotta remember nothing is set in stone. It's set in dirt. Okay, so we have a little terrain. Yeah, we indeed do. And I'm thinking of taking the platform a little bit out. Not like that. Like so. It's kind of weird that it's not symmetrical. Can I make it symmetrical or am I gonna ruin everything? Oh no. What if I delete this? Oh, there's a big hole. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. Let's put a little terrace roof on that. Oh, how am I gonna do that? Oh, let's just start with the rounded roof. Oh, mama. I think I'm gonna put in columns first just to see what's happening. Hop opening <laughs> around here. <gasps> Oh, that is just wonderful, isn't it? I hate everything with a curve. It's not. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the roof on. Maybe I can have a little gabled roof right here. Would that be cute? Maybe. We shan't see. All right, now for this bit. The round bit. Oh, yikes. How am I supposed to do this? I'm just 100% making stuff up at this point. This is so bad. Might have a little cry. Okay, I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. I mean, oh, that is bad, isn't it? Can I hide that up somehow? No, okay, I've tried everything to fix this situation and I do not know how to make that better. Oh, whatever. I'm moving on. And now they do need a way to get up here. That they indeed do. So I'm thinking they're gonna get up here with some stairs. I know mind-blowing technology. The stairs. So what if I just go like so maybe? Interesting. Maybe something like that. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna smoothen up this terrain and I'll get back to you later, okay? Because it's gonna be really boring to watch me smooth the terrain. I mean, I can give you a little preview of what it's going to be. It's just gonna be like this. And that's it. Now I've smoothed up the terrain a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. And it's still very rough. Because I figured out that I need to place in all my rocks before I know where everything is going, you know. So I'm gonna place in the rocks first. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tool mud today. Love that for me. Tool mudding all around. I'm gonna tool mud everything in. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier with big old rocks than tiny, tiny plants everywhere. And if you're wanting some sort of tool mud tutorial from me, I'm just telling you now, I'm not the right person to give out those tutorials. <laughs> I only started using too much like a couple of weeks ago, so I... I don't know anything, actually. All right. I have placed in some of the rocks. I'm not done with it, of course. But this is the base of it. The prototype, if you want to call it that. I don't know. But I'm going to take a break from that. And I'm going to start doing the inside of the house. I'm, of course, going to go back to this. I'm not done. But, you know, it's important to space out your tasks. That it indeed is. Because otherwise, you would go crazy. Let's start with the kitchen. Maybe. Maybe we can do that. The heart of the house. Let's take a little look at the counters. Oh. So this is the only options we have. I see. 
I mean, this counter could be something. That it indeed could. It could be something. So maybe I'll try with that. What am I going to do with this space? Just have a little nook. Oh, the window. For goodness sake. I'm going to remove that window for now because it's ruining everything. What about the fridges? Oh, what is this? What? Is it custom content? Where did you come from? Oh, is this from like the rewards thingy thingies? Boobity bangies. Those things. Okay. Weird move by the Sims team. I mean, what fridge do I want? Maybe I can go for that one. What about this one? No. Oh, no. Okay, maybe that is our best option now that I think about it. Now the stove. I mean, are we going to go for this one or this? Maybe I can try with that fridge. Yes, I do like that stove. Jano? Okay, let's put up the cabinets. Which one matches? If there's not one that matches, I... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't match exactly, but it's the, it's the best thing I can do. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, of course, it's an end piece. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe size it up a little bit? Yeah, that can work. Uh-oh. Wait, this isn't the matching cabinet. What? Excuse me. Why, why, why are you being so difficult? <gasps> there isn't a matching swatch. Right. You know what? My theory is that the person who's in charge of all of these swatches are colorblind. That's my theory. Because there's so many times in The Sims that nothing matches. I mean, somebody must be colorblind. That's the only explanation. Oh, by the way, this looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. And then, what can we have over here? Some sort of shelving system, maybe? Oh, I was thinking something like this, but obviously not that, because that's bathroom stuff. What else do we have? Do we have a gnome? Whatever this is. <laughs> well then, let's just have a little bar instead. What about that? Now, if there's not a matching swatch in this bar, I'm gonna send the Sims team a very angry email. I am. Oh, <laughs> there was a matching swatch. Never mind, Sims team, never mind. Not gonna send that email. Thank God, because I hate sending emails. And over here we can just have some shelves maybe 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 then just some random stuff like that huh? yeah okay so for the wallpaper ooh, i like that one out of the choices that we have i like that one okay <laughs> but do we have it in a warmer tone no we only have one swatch of that right and then the flooring oh no 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 what about this oh wait why do i like that i should talk to somebody about that okay i think i'm done with the furnishing in this room i am of course gonna decorate in the end because that's because <laughs> that's how i like to do things all right i like to put in the furniture first in all the rooms and then i come back and i decorate it that's just how i am let's go to the dining room what can we put in here oh i like this table there's some chairs oh wait what i love those chairs and they're base game i'm gonna use those wow 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 okay let's move to the living room Ooh, the living room that's a weird shape that it indeed is all right let's start with the couches i can go with these couches there and then they're okay Maybe. What can we have here? Fireplace? Oh, that's not great. Oh no, gang. Maybe we can have a bookshelf to spice it up. I don't know. Maybe I can do something like that. Maybe. I mean, they clip into each other a little bit, but that, that's the charm of this house. Please say it is. <laughs> Would it be weird to have a TV in this place? No. Oh. Now for the carpets. What about this one? No. Or wait, bring it back now. That's a maybe. I'm gonna say that out here. What about this? That's also a maybe. Bring it onto the maybe pile. Let's put in the flooring first. That's a good idea. I can see what I'm working with. I kind of like that flooring. I indeed do. What about this one? There is something not right with this carpet. Like it looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I searched up layout for carpets and couches. Okay, I, I did. I, I need help. Because I can have the carpet like that or like that. Rug custom size. Oh boy. I wish. But I do have my carpet like this. But it's not looking great. Maybe it's the couches. What if I switch the colors? No, it's not the couches. What if I size it up a little bit? No, that did not help. All right, let's move on to the bathroom. What can we have here? We could have some sort of bathtub comp in there, maybe. And then we can have the sink here. And then a toilet. Yeah, happy with that. We have this flooring for the wallpaper. Oh, oh, yikes. Very much yikes. <laughs> we can have this. <laughs> you know, this can this can maybe work. Maybe. Then I'm gonna pop in a mirror. Oh, oh no. Oh, that looks horrible. What if we just have one sink? No, that, that looks weirder. Oh, maybe I can go like that. And then I'll just spice it up in the middle. Yeah, sure. My camera wasn't filming. Again, a magical. I love that. Any whoozles, let's furnish the kids' bedroom, shall we, or freaking shall? Okay, so what do we got in beds? Oh, oh no. What about this bed? That seems reasonable. And then we can have two beds, maybe. Oh, wait. Hmm. I mean, we have two bedrooms and an office. Would it be weird for this family to have two kids in one room and then an office? No, they, they like to be in the same room. They love it. <laughs> then we need some nightstands for these peeps. There we go. What else does the kids need? A dresser of some sort? Oh, they can get this one. That's cute. I like that one. Yeah. And maybe some toys. That's it's always a good idea to give kids. Ooh, maybe I can squeeze in a little castle here. And then we can have a little light there, maybe. Kids need lights. That they, that they do. And then maybe a little chair. Right there. Ooh, and now for the flooring. I kind of like this flooring, actually. Don't know why, but I do like this flooring. Yeah, okay, for the carpet. They do need a carpet. Kids and their carpets these days. What about this carpet? I mean, that's kind of boring. What about this carpet? 
page. Oh, why does that kind of work though? With those two carpets on top of each other? That kind of works. I'm happy with that. Yeah, let's move on to the bathroom. What can we do in here? Oh, I need to fix me windows. There we go. So I think in this little nook, you could have a bathtub. Now, ideally, I would love to have this bathtub on some platforms, but I cannot make platforms because of the roof. Just look, if I make a little platform, then the whole roof, <laughs> the whole roof is collapsing. Even if I put in one of those platform pieces, just look at this. That's the roof. So can't do that. I'm sorry. And this time it's not my fault. It's the Sims for the scale issue, right? And have a little toilet right there and a sink. And then we need some mirrors. Mera, mera, meras. Does that look strange? I think it's a little too strange. <laughs> the star mirror. <laughs> I mean, maybe that is our best option right now. Maybe it is. I'm gonna go with that. I, I, yeah, I am. All right. And then the bedroom. Let's look at the beds. Very interesting. <gasps> okay, hold on. I do kind of like this bed. I've never used this bed in the build before. And I think, I think today is today. Because I have no better options. And then we need a dresser. Where can that be? Here? No. Here? Yeah, I can go for this one. That's cute. What can I have in front of the bed? I can have this thing. That's kind of cute. Do we have it in the other color? Oh, we do. Maybe in light blue. Oh, that's fancy. I like that. Beautiful. Right. Now we're on to this room. What am I going to do with that room? Well, first of all, I'm going to raise up the windows because they are placed wrong. Okay, I fixed it. What can this room be? I mean, if you would have such a bed like this one, one could only assume that you are some sort of artist. All right. One could only assume that. So maybe this could be some sort of art room. Maybe an art room with a desk. What about that? So I do love that desk. That I do. So let's put in a little easel. And that was it. No. Um, <laughs> we can have like a bookcase. And then we should get in some art decor. You know. What is that? Artiste supply. Tabaret. Ta uh, probably said that wrong. And hoozles. We can have this canvas storage unit. And then we could just have an easel right here. That they tucked away. You know. That was her old easel. This is her new one that she loves. <laughs> we can just have a collection of easels right there. I know I wasn't supposed to be decorating right now. I know. But um, I went off the rails. <laughs> Wait off the rails. Put down some canvases and I suddenly went off the rails. Let's put in some flooring. I'm gonna go for this flooring. Yeah. I mean, I can also just put in some carpets since I'm already here. Why not? Alrighty. It is time for me to do some decorating of the house. And again, I'm just gonna make this as some sort of speed building thingy thingy, alright? Because otherwise, this video would be one hour long. And I don't think anybody wants that. You say you want that, but you don't want that. <laughs> so yeah, if you've seen some of my videos, or maybe just one of them, I don't know, you'll probably notice that my camera often dies. And the reason for that is that I'm using a really old and very, very bad camera. And this old camera just stops filming whenever it wants to, okay? It doesn't care about anybody's feelings. It just stops filming. And it doesn't tell you that it stopped filming, that it does not. It just stops and boop. And here I am. It's a wonderful little camera, isn't it? Yeah, so proud of it. <laughs> what else can I talk about? I really don't know. No, let's see what's on the news today. Wait, now it's gonna be pouring rain. It has been pouring rain for a bit jillion years. Well, of course it has. Otherwise, this planet would have been long gone dead. But it has been raining a lot in Norway. So much rain and so much lightning and thundering. Aye. Oof. It's gonna rain more? But one part of the country is luckier than the other. Okay, well, what part is that? So it's gonna hit west of Norway first and then east and then north. Well, how huh? But isn't that all the parts? Wait, north. Oh, south. Oh, I see. South of Norway is lucky this time. I see how it is. Must be nice to live in the south of Norway this time. Yeah, I guess. Oh, but where is south of Norway? I don't... <laughs> Nora doesn't actually live in Norway. A conspiracy. All right. Norge. In Berlin. Okay, so we have the north of Norway, the west country, and the south, and east, and Trondelag. Where's that on the compass? Okay, so south is a very small part of Norway. I see. Huh, learn something new every day. Well, this was an extremely boring segment. Why did I start reading the news? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at small talk, apparently. I, I Apparently, I'm not. Oh, I think I now know where I got the inspiration for the pink house. Because of my calendar. Can you see it? It's pink. <laughs> it's my mummy calendar. Yes. I guess that mystery was solved. That it indeed was. Right, I really do hope that Nora in the future is done decorating now because I have literally nothing else to say. <laughs> It's just getting more and more boring, this conversation right here. Do I have any fun facts about myself that I can tell? I don't think so. Well, I have facts about me, but they're not that fun. <gasps> By the way, you know what I hate? What I absolutely hate? You know when you're starting a new job, or it's your first day of school or college or whatever it may be, and then it's the whole situation of introducing yourself and getting to know people and all that? I mean, that is horrible in itself, but the most horrible part is when the leader of the little social group says, why don't we go around the room and tell a fun fact about ourselves? 
no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. No, <laughs> I hate that. If they just said, tell a fact about yourself, then okay, I can tell facts about myself. But I don't have any fun facts about myself. So now the pressure is on, you know? And when I tell my fun fact, and it's in fact not fun, then people are going to think that that's the most interesting thing about me. And it's just horrible. I don't like that at all. So yeah, I'm just going to go back to the build now, I guess. All right, I finished decorating the house. That I indeed have. Look, here's the kitchen. Ooh, it turned out so cute. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little rest the kitchen that it is but that's just the enjoyment of the house here we have the dining room whoa we have the bathroom then we have the living room which is nice and funky i don't like the curtains <laughs> in the hallway whoa and upstairs to the other hallway that's kind of like entertainment ish ish little ish vibe <laughs> then the bedroom which turned out kind of cute then we have the little terrace the veranda i have no idea what these things are called i just say a word and hope for the best then we have the little art studio i love it i do indeed love it and we have the bathroom which turned out all right and then we have the kids bedroom got all the vibes right now for the outside <sighs> I gotta figure this outside thing out. I do. Well, let's start with the stairs. I can't find the matching railings. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's uh, plant this freaking garden out. What if we have a little pathway? It goes like so. I'm just planning stuff out, all right? Nothing is decided yet. Just planning it out. Do we have space for a little garden here, do you think? It would be a nice place for a little garden. But how are we supposed to get there? Interesting. Maybe if we have another staircase on the other side of this little hill, would that be fun or weird? Eh, I mean, I think that can work. So just right here, just have a little garden. And by garden, I mean like this sort of garden. <laughs> if you were wondering, I can be there. Now, do I want a fence or not? To fence or not to fence? Oh, that could be something. I don't know. Should I have a fence? I'm not really sure. Maybe I can try with the fence. I mean, that does kind of look weird, but maybe it will look better if I put some, some, some bushes and plants in. <laughs> Hello, this is Nora from the future. And I'm just going to do a voiceover for this little speed build of the garden. Because when I actually filmed this part, it sounded like I had hated my life, all right? <laughs> now that's only half true, okay? Because I was just so focused on detailing the garden that my voice was completely monotone and I don't think anybody wants to hear that. So here I am, gonna do voiceover instead. So, uh, what was I doing here? Oh, look at me go with putting them plants in. Beautiful. And then I continued with placing me rocks with tool mod. Oh, and what did I do here? Oh, I created my little planting in garden and I decided to put a little ring of rocks around it because I thought that looked cool and it indeed looked cool that yeah then i put in some little gardening pots in a circle and that i that i did then i put up some little <laughs> details and some buckets and oh i think i put in a, a woodworking station because that's apparently what you do in a garden you do some woodworking and right here i tried to create a little pond oh i love this pond look at it and again i'm just making a little circle of rocks for the ambiance and then i put in some water and i think i tried to put in the fish statue but it didn't work i sadly couldn't put in a frog statue statue because that's in another pack so that was very sad but instead i put in some little tadpoles because that's almost a frog so now we got a little frog pond that we do and then i started working on my little pathway with some stepping stones all around town going up and down and then i decided i needed to detail <laughs> the facade of the build so i did that with some columns and something else i don't remember oh and then the worst thing that could ever happen happened for some reason, I don't know how this happened, but for some reason, my OBS decided to only film the upper right corner. So I have literally two hours of footage just showing the, <laughs> the right upper corner. Oh. <laughs> I laughed and I cried when I saw this. But yeah, I've... It's truly amazing what I can do with my OBS. Wow. But yeah, anyways, all I did was put in a lot of plants and detailing and stuff like that. And I did the porch as well. But yeah, I have nothing more to say about that. I, oof, no. Okay. Back to the past, Nora? Nora in the past. Nora in the present. No, I don't know. Let's just go back to that, Nora. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. It is now time for the little house tour. It is again like 9 p.m. as it usually is. So this is the house. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I love the house. I wasn't really sure about the pink wallpaper on the outside, like the pink exterior, but I've grown to love it. And you will probably too, hopefully. Yeah. You know, I'm just imagining this little, this artsy couple living here with the two children, living it up on the hill. That's what I'm imagining. Uh... Okay, when I started this challenge, I didn't think at all that this challenge would be difficult in the sliders. I was like, base game? Decorating a whole house full of base game stuff, that's gonna be easy. It was not really that easy because I had totally forgotten how quote-unquote bad the furniture is in the base game, you know? I had totally forgotten about it. There's like not much to choose from and you just gotta hope and pray that it works. I'm probably not done filming yet. I, I, I think I need to talk more. Hmm, what should I talk about? Do you guys want to hear more about the news? <laughs> Has the news changed? I mean, let's see. Children has to eat less fish. Norway now in trouble. Why? Oh, it's a football match. Yeah, but they're always in trouble, so that's not really news. This is how you love the dishwasher. What? I'm confused. Do you know the difference between the different robot vacuums? I do not, because I do not have one. Oh, that was something. And you're welcome, by the way, for that extremely exciting segment. I hope you enjoyed it. And I better be done with the house tour right now, because I've literally put everybody to sleep. Oh my gosh. All right, that was it for this time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the house. I, I really enjoyed the house. I, I truly did. If you for some reason want to download this house, you can. It's on my gallery and my gallery ID is just on my gaming. Yes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, but only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.